My final project for future design is about a social experiment where people are going to communicate face to face instead of using their digital device. I, I want to create this uh, a, this experience for for people, especially the targets. It's city people, and uh, to make them also uncomfortable, you know, because uh, in social media we have different attitude and uh, maybe, you know, like you send uh, a song on YouTube uh, to your friend and he will say like, uh, yeah, I will listen to it. And, uh, but he never does it. So, or you just start a shitstorm about some hot topic on Twitter, on Facebook. And uh, I just want to recreate this experience but making people seeing each other and that's what I would like to do. It's gonna be three different spaces uh, defined by three tables and each table is uh, gonna have uh, uh, posters and uh, that, uh, that are gonna guide you and the tools that you're gonna use with the with the other person that is gonna be with you, and uh, and I'm gonna guide the people inside it. That's the main thing, actually. Also, the posters are important, but I'm gonna just explain to the people to the people at the beginning that they need to be two. It's better that they don't know each other. I, I will try to do my best, actually. You know, it's. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be an exhibition full of art and different experience, so I think that uh, it, it could go fine. Basically, in the last few months, that was the launch of, uh, the, launch of uh, the Metaverse, you know, and uh, I was like, uh, Man, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Like, maybe it's the obvious consequence of the technology, but I was like, I really don't get it. I mean, what is it about? Like, last week, there was a football match, and that was, uh, there was the first uh, football match uh, shown on the, on the metaverse. It was Italian football match. I was like, does it make any sense? Like, I have to watch something in into another reality like can i just do it in my living room i know maybe the metaverse is going to be super cool and i think that if it's going to be affordable i will use it maybe every day but uh, my concern was to go out of this uh augmented reality, augmented intelligence world and I wanted more to focus on the social aspect because I think that we are a middle generation and with middle generation I mean that we are the last generation who has the, their parents and their grandparents who had experienced the world without internet and that is super cool because from now on all of us we're gonna be super cool grandmother and grandfather because we're gonna have uh, uh, our uh, memory book on Instagram and our life it's I mean I had my first smartphone when I was uh, 18 so I am pretty lucky to experience a life without internet but uh, I can see now that so many kids even in the school, in the train, and uh, while do, they are doing breakfast in Starbucks, they are using the tablet. They are, and uh, it is cool. I mean, maybe this is an obvious consequence of the of the world, of the evolution of the human species. But I just want to remind people that there is a world outside internet, and uh, and this is crazy because I think we are losing so many skills i think that our brain is getting lazier and lazier and it is also because we spend so much time in the in this kind of 
social interaction that apparently makes us happy. Talking about the, the social aspect of it, I think that now we are shy, we are very more shy and we prefer to break the ice with some filter, which is, I don't know, Tinder, Instagram, or we feel free to say whatever we want, even just because it's on, it's on Twitter, you know. And maybe that's fine, but I want just to make people understand how different they would act if they are in front of these people. That's where my project starts. Come to our exhibition because it's gonna be wild. And uh, it's a walk on the wild side and we are artists and students and designers working each other. And I'm sure that it's gonna be worth it for you. Cheers. Bless.